Drake featuring Lotto, housekeeping, let's get it. This off that 100 gigs for they head top. Play something. Ooh, ooh, hit that thumbs up button. I've been forgetting I'm a YouTuber. Hit that thumbs up button. We need like a thousand thumbs up, y'all. Appreciate you. Play something. What y'all want to hear? Something sweet. Something uplifting. Something sweet and uplifting, huh? Yeah. Play something inspiring. Interesting feature choice. I like this sample for real. seconds right 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 a little too much it's like i can definitely tell you've been playing with that booger sugar this that booger sugar anthem i don't do stuff like that so i can't really get into that bag you know what i mean i can't get no eight hours of sleep now when you hear laying next to me it's like the third time switching out the sheets housekeeper must know that we some freeze when you go away i hate the distance Booking flights like I was your assistant. I could never treat you like no mistress. Brother, Drake, OVO Shardy, BBL Drizzy. This is not the time for this. I'm going to see what you do. It's a lot of song. It might be fun. about, But I just think it's like, just rap. Just rap. Niggas just get sick of hearing that fucking lovey-dovey bullcrap all the, all the time. Just rap, cuz. Just rap. But if I fuck it like y'all, then what's the difference? Oh my god, this is terrible. And I like the other two songs. This sucks ass. Maybe Ho's gonna get to shake it ass to this though. It's got that right where they gonna do the left cheek and then the right cheek. East Coast girls popping ass and popping pills. West Coast girls do the same but in the hills. South side girls, they know how to close a deal. Up in the six, all up in the six. Shout out to all my South Side queens. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my my Southern queens. Y'all don't fail. Y'all don't fail. See, everybody else was popping pills and shaking ass. Y'all still just, just being great. Fantasies, they do whatever they feel. I done had too many drinks to hop behind the wheel. Mm. Crocodile parking and I'm carrying Casil. No, you see it poking out, I never miss no meal. Mm. Ride, mm. ride, mm. ride. Mm. 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 That was actually a fire double entendre. She said she has that crocodile burk in her purse, but she has the blicky in it, right? She said you always see it poking out, but then also that means like a, a shorty got a fat ass, so you always see it poking out. You know I'm eating well, but then you would need the protection because you have money. Also, having money, eating a lot, you've gained weight. Fire double entendre from Lotto about her ass cheeks. If you are going to make a, a, a bar, make it about your booty. Or if you going to rap about your booty, make it a bar. You know what I mean? See it poking out, ew. Crocodile perking and I'm carrying Casil. No, you see it poking out, I never miss no meal. Go ahead. Run, run, run. Ride it like Big Mama, where you better have some skills. Attitude, like be a Big Mama. Did 
Did Lotto have a better verse than Drake's? That was just, this was just a fart. This was a, 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 I like that double entendre though for Lotto, but I think like I don't know. It's like when I always say music, your palette for music changes based off of what you're listening to. So if you're listening to two minutes of ass, if there's something sort of good in there, what happens is you just sort of go, oh okay, this is good. But it's the reason why there's coffee beans when you're smelling cologne. That way you can refresh your palate. The thing about music, though, you don't get that palate refresher all the time. I I, I think this is ass. Hey. But Lotto is cool. And it's like, this is that you make music to pacify them. I wonder if he comes back, if he just gonna ride, ride, ride. I mean, you can get a little loose to it. I ain't gonna. You can move to it, but it's like, this is, so what's the last 20 seconds of this? Is it just white air? Oh, okay, yeah. No, like I said, Drake's trying his hardest to clear, just drop so much content that we forget about everything that's happened this summer, you know, in with that new, out with the old, that's sort of the mentality. And it'll probably work because people's memories are very, very short and our need for being entertained, not really need, but I want for being entertained, we'll, we will get scratched like the best junkie. So if Drake's the one entertaining us, we'll forget all the stuff that happened and we'll just sit and be entertained. And I'm cool with that. As long as what you're making is actually good, st stop this. I think this beef was a moment where we all realized in hip hop, let's get back to the place where our rappers are rapping about things other than butts and titties. Uh, add some titties. I don't know why I called them butts. Butts made it sound so much more vulgar, though. I ain't, you know what I mean? I said butts. I almost said, oh my God, I'm getting demonetized. This was certified ass. Check it comes another reaction by right here. Big music video by me right there. Bow, click on it. Show me some love. You watch it feels long. You didn't hit that thumbs up button. You're a hoe. So stop being a hoe. KBD family love y'all. Salute. I'm out of the...